Hey everyone, in this video we are going to work on this naughty or nice stencil. I'll show you how to bridge that for traditional plastic stencil and then in the next video we'll do this background two-part stencil for the elf shoe. So we're going to open a new project and bring in some text. This is your text bar across here. I'm going to use a font that is installed on my system. So I chose system font and I'm going with lovely Christmas. That's from Creative Fabrica. I'll link it down below in case you're interested in the font. And I'm going to type in naughty. And I'm going to do this in three different text boxes so that I can change the size of or. I want to make or smaller than the rest. You could also do it the opposite way. Let's see in text for nice. And I'm going to bring this a little closer together so you have the font, you have its regular size, and then the letter spacing. I'm going to take that down just a bit. Same with the word nice. And this is just personal preference, so you don't have to do that with your font that you're using. And I just kind of eyeball the spacing between them, and then I'm going to draw a line here to grab all three and align them. It's going to distribute them horizontally for me. Or excuse me, distribute them vertically. And I want to align them center horizontally. There we go. And then once you like the way that your font looks, your spacing and everything, when you have it completely settled the way that you like it, you're going to click on Weld at the bottom of the Layers panel. So now it's one unit in the Layers panel rather than three. And I'm going to make it nice and big for the bridging part. So if you're new to bridging, here's why we bridge. Pretend this white background all around here is your stencil plastic. And then this is what you want to cut out. As your blade cuts out along this outer edge of the A, the, the middle of this A is going to fall out with it because there's nothing holding this white piece to the white out in here. So we're going to connect those and that's called bridging in Cricut. We're going to bring in a square. I'm going to change the color just so it's easy to differentiate from my font. And just bring in a nice long thin line there. Make sure it goes through that piece because what we're doing is we're using this green to cut away a piece so it'll connect to the white on the outside. And you'll see what that means in just a second. So I'm going to click on the green, click on my word, and choose slice. And then we'll have three trash pieces in the top right of the layers panel. We're going to get rid of those. So now this white out here, as you can see, it connects and it runs through this A. So that's what your stencil will do. Your uh, plastic, it'll run all the way through that letter. And we'll do the same for the G and the O. And then we'll need one also for the E and the R. Oops, undo button is like my best buddy. Okay, and then for the R, I think I'm going to do this in two instead of one right through it. So what I'm going to do is unlock this corner so that I can maintain the width. I don't want to change the width up here under the word untitled at the top. I want to keep that width the same, but I'm going to change the height and make it smaller. Make it much shorter. And then I'll use two of these. But I'm keeping the bridges the same thickness everywhere. Okay, so grab that and the wording and slice. Get rid of the three trash pieces. 
And the next square, do the same thing, just all along those with a quick peek to make sure you like the way they look before you move on. And a couple more of those. Get rid of the trash pieces. Get our letter O. So I'm just grabbing the wording, the rectangle, and slice. And then deleting the trash pieces. So now all of these inside pieces are connected to the outside. And none of those centers will fall out. And all that's left to do now is size accordingly for your cookie cutter. Um, so I'll make that three inches, let's say. Bring in your stencil square piece. I'll make that white for the video. And five and a half inches. Place your knotty or nice. You can see that that's going to go behind it. So we're going to arrange and bring that to the front. I'm going to draw a line through there, align center, and attach. That is ready to cut out for traditional plastic stencil. And in the next video, we will do the background for the adorable little elf two-part shoes. If you have any questions, feel free to place them in the comment.